Matthew chapter number 26 verses 17 through 19. Now the first day of the feast of unleavened bread, the disciples came to Jesus saying unto him, Where wert thou that we prepare for thee to eat the Passover? And he said, Go into the city to such a man and say unto him, The master saith, My time is at hand. I will keep the Passover at thy house with my disciples. And the disciples did as Jesus had appointed them, and they made ready the Passover. This is one of those subtle miracles that Christ did that are very, very important because what we see here is that the feast of the Passover was about to begin. This is the first of the biblical feast that starts in the spring. And this is commemorates the exodus out of Egypt. Wonderful holiday, wonderful feast. And the disciples Ask Jesus, where should we prepare to eat the Passover? Now, the reason why this is so marvelous is because Christ said, I do nothing but what I see and hear from the Father. So, from the moment they asked this question, we believe that Christ looked towards the Father spiritually and it was revealed through the Holy Ghost the Holy Spirit where and what to do this is an incredibly important concept to believers what Christ is showing here is that God has prepared a way in every single situation. There's no temptation that has overtaken us wherewith God has not made a way of escape. Every problem, every situation, God wants us to lean on Him. And once we lean on Him, then we will see He has prepared. No, we do not have every answer starting out. No, we do not understand everything from the beginning. But that's what faith is. Trusting God. How, how, I mean, you think about this. You're going into Jerusalem. Josephus said some two million people coming in. And you just go to a perfect stranger and tell him, the master said, my time is at hand. I have need. I will eat with my disciples at your house. But the disciples had learned through experience to trust what Jesus, Yeshua, had told them. And we saw that it worked out exactly as the master had said every single time. This is an incredible lesson where we need to do that. We need to consult with the Father instead of panicking, instead of getting afraid, instead of getting nervous. Consult the Father and let Him speak through us through the Holy Spirit. God, we bless you. We give you glory. We give you honor. And we give you praise. Thank, thank you. Thank God.